Europe is America's closest partner. The world is safer and more just when Europe and America stand as one. Uh, we agreed to step up our efforts to boost growth and job creation on both sides of the Atlantic, and that includes working to conclude a transatlantic trade and investment partnership. Uh, and let me add, uh, once we have a trade agreement in place, export licenses for projects for liqui uh, liquefied natural gas destined to Europe would be much easier. Much of our focus today was on the situation in Ukraine. Uh, Russia's actions in Ukraine aren't just about one country. They're about the kind of Europe and the kind of world that we live in. And Europe's progress rests on basic principles, including respect for international law, as well as the sovereignty and territorial integrity of nations. That's what Russia violated with its military action against Ukraine. The United States and Europe stand united on this issue. Uh, we're united in our support for Ukraine and for the need to provide economic assistance to help stabilize its economy. We're united in our commitment to Europe's security. We're united in our determination to isolate Russia and impose costs for Russia's actions, and making it clear that if Russia stays on its current course, the consequences for the Russian economy will continue to grow. Uh, there is still a way for Russia to work with Ukraine and the international community to de-escalate the situation through diplomacy. If Russia continues on its current course, however, the isolation will deepen. Sanctions will increase, and there will be growing consequences for the Russian economy.